Kawasaki disease is an acute systemic vasculitis primarily affecting children between 1 and 5 years of age, with a higher incidence in males and Asian ethnicities, particularly Japanese children. The disease predominantly involves small to medium-sized arteries, including the coronary arteries, leading to the development of coronary artery aneurysms, a hallmark manifestation and the most common cause of acquired heart disease in children in developed countries. The exact cause of Kawasaki disease remains unclear, with the leading hypothesis suggesting an infectious trigger in genetically predisposed individuals. The systemic vasculitis is believed to result from an aberrant immune response which releases inflammatory cytokines and enzymes that contribute to vessel wall damage, leading to aneurysm formation. Kawasaki disease progresses through distinct stages, acute febrile, subacute, and convalescent. Key clinical features include fever, conjunctivitis, rash, extremity changes, lymphadenopathy, and mucosal involvement. Diagnosis is clinical, requiring the presence of fever and a combination of specific clinical findings. Laboratory values and echocardiography play crucial roles in supporting the diagnosis, with specific criteria indicating increased suspicion for Kawasaki disease. The diagnostic criteria for Kawasaki disease involve a combination of clinical features and laboratory findings. Classic Kawasaki disease is diagnosed when a patient has a fever for at least five days and presence with at least four of the following five principal clinical features. 1. Polymorphous rash involving the extremities, trunk, and perineum. 2. Bilateral non-purulent conjunctivitis. 3. Changes in the lips and oral cavity, such as cracked and erythematous lips and strawberry tongue. 4. Changes in the extremities, including erythema of the hands and feet, and desquamation of the hands and toes in one to three weeks later. 5. Cervical lymphadenopathy larger than 1.5 cm in diameter, generally unilateral. In addition to these clinical features, there are supplemental laboratory criteria that may support the diagnosis, including anemia, neutrophilia, elevated CRP and ESR, elevated liver enzymes, hypoalbuminemia, hyponatremia, and other clinical findings such as arthritis, myocarditis, gastroenteritis, gallbladder hydrops, pyuria, and pneumonitis. It is important to note that Kawasaki disease is primarily a clinical diagnosis, and there is no specific diagnostic test for it. Laboratory tests and echocardiographic findings can aid in evaluating suspected cases and differentiating Kawasaki disease from other conditions. You do not need to wait until day 5 of fever to make the diagnosis. If a child has signs which raise clinical suspicion, a Kawasaki diagnosis can be made on day 3 or 4 of fever. With early diagnosis, treatment can be started early to stop the inflammatory process and outcomes are much better. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial, especially to detect coronary aneurysms that can develop within the first week of the disease. The mainstay of treatment involves the prompt administration of intravenous immunoglobulins within 10 days of fever onset to reduce coronary complications. Aspirin is often used in conjunction with immunoglobulins, with long-term management tailored based on the presence of coronary abnormalities. Patients with giant aneurysms require more intensive monitoring and may need anticoagulation therapy in addition to aspirin. Long-term follow-up is essential to monitor cardiac complications, with treatment strategies adjusted based on the regression of aneurysms. Patients with Kawasaki disease, especially those with persistent aneurysms, require ongoing cardiovascular risk assessment and tailored therapy to mitigate long-term complications. In conclusion, Kawasaki disease, though challenging, has a favorable prognosis with timely and appropriate management. Understanding the pathophysiology, clinical presentation, diagnostic criteria, and treatment strategies is crucial for healthcare professionals managing this condition effectively. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.